kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today we are going to read the story of Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist. This way and that. This is Mr. Seahorse. And this is Mrs. Seahorse. Do you know how a seahorse looks like in real life? A seahorse looks like this. This is a seahorse. Seahorse. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. Do you know where the eggs are? The eggs are in the belly of Mr. Seahorse now. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... <gasps> what is this? <gasps> a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. So this is a patch of reeds. A patch of reeds. This is a group of trumpet fish. Trumpet fish. This is a trumpet fish. Can you say it? Trumpet fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away. Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a stickleback. Stickleback. This is a stickleback. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... <gasps> what is this? A lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. So this is a coral reef. And hiding behind a coral reef is lionfish. This is a coral reef. Coral reef. What type of fish is this? It's a lionfish. Lionfish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a tilapia. Tilapia. A tilapia is a type of fish. Tilapia. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by. <gasps> What's this again? He passed right by several live fish hidden among the seaweed. So this is a seaweed. Seaweed. This is a seaweed. And this fish is live fish. We call this live fish. This is a live fish. Live fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. 
Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a Curtis fish. Curtis fish. Curtis. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... <gasps> Do you know what this is? He passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. This is a rock. The rock is so big. And this is a stonefish. Stonefish. This is a stonefish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. This is a pipe fish. Pipe fish. What do you call this? A pipe fish. This is how a pipefish looks like in real life. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatch. Now I am babysitting. You are doing a fine job said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. Oh, look at the bullhead fish. This is a bullhead fish. Bullhead. So now the eggs are hatched and they turn into baby bullhead fish. Oh, look, something exciting happened. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies stumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. So the seahorse babies are now on their own. Good job, Mr. Seahorse. The end. And that's the story of... Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Oh, I think the author has something to say about the book. Let's read it. Dear friends, in most families, after the mother has laid the eggs and the father has fertilized them, the eggs are left on their own, but there are exceptions such as the seahorse, stickleback, tilapia, Curtis nursery fish, pipefish, bullhead catfish, and some others. Not only are the eggs cared for by a parent, but surprise, that parent is the father. This may sound strange, but it is the truth. And this is my story about them. I hope you enjoy my story. I hope that you enjoyed our story time today. See you kids again next time. Bye!